And one of my favorite tools for work, turns out is actually Bill's favorite tool for work, <laughs> which is a video conferencing tool. It's called Zoom. And in fact, it's one of the favorite tools for video conferencing for a lot of the big names in Silicon Valley because Zoom just got $100 million in funding from some of those biggest names because of Eric Yuen, who's the CEO and founder of Zoom, his vision for the future of video conferencing. Eric, thank you so much for joining us all the way from Silicon Valley. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Phil. Hello, everyone. I'm the Eric Yuan. I'm the founder and CEO of Zoom Video Communications. Our company, Zoom, is based in San Jose, California. We are a six-year-old startup company, and we offer the best video conferencing service. Over 500,000 businesses are using Zoom today, and 50% of Fortune 50 companies are also using Zoom. 90% of top 200 nationwide universities are also using Zoom. When it comes to video, audio, and screen sharing quality, ease of use, and rich collaboration feature sets, Zoom can really deliver happiness to the users. Our vision is to help to bring in video conferencing into a mainstream service, allow anyone, anywhere, with any device to connect with others, to collaborate, to accomplish more. With video conferencing, employees are more engaged and your productivity will be up. Video conferencing is about getting closer. It is more focused and more effective. It, it is also about reducing costs, travel, and environmental impact. Overall, video conferencing like Zoom can have a huge positive impact to the world and to people's lives. We are working very hard to make a video conferencing a frictionless experience. We truly believe most of the real-time communication down the road are video enabled. So Eric, one of the things that we've been talking about here at the Near Future Conference is really around the role of virtual reality. What is your take on the role of VR on the future of collaboration and how that impacts work? Well, we are extremely excited about AR technology. I'm sorry I can't be there physically today, so I have to join via Zoom video conference. You know, Kim and Phil, I have not seen you for a while. I so wish I could be there to, share, to shake your hands or to give you a, each a hug. But too bad I, I cannot do this in the Zoom video conferencing yet. So imagine in the future, we, we are both wearing smart AR glasses and together with a touch sensor, we will have a unique and a different experience just like being physically, physically together, we will have the same level of in-person sense of touch if I were to shake your hand. So ultimately, we truly believe the experience gap between a physical in-person meeting and online video conferencing will be smaller and smaller by leveraging AR technology. Now, one of the things that's getting a lot of conversation in the Valley, and I know you've been a part of these, some of these conversations, is, is the role of artificial intelligence. There's a lot of you know, misinformation that's out there. And, but you and I, I know we've had this conversation with regards to your interest in applying artificial intelligence to collaboration. So share with the audience here just a little bit your thoughts on what that looks like. Sure. So when it comes to artificial intelligence or, or machine learning, it can really help to improve our productivity. With more than 18 billion minutes spent on Zoom every year, quite often our customers want to know how productive and effective these meetings are and how to improve the meeting experience and get the audience engaged. The problem is that when you talk via online video conferencing like Zoom, you know, an audience members man, may wonder or you may not be aware of this. You may not know if they are interested with your topic you presented or not. With machine learning and AI technology, and based on the analysis of your facial expression, your eye movement, and the body language, we will be able to determine how engaged the meeting audience is. And after every meeting, 
we can give you a meeting engagement score and also share with you where you can improve the meeting experience. For example, if one spoke too fast or did not solicit questions before changing to a new topic and so on and so forth. So we, I truly believe AR can make the meeting experience better, can make our lives better and easier. Okay, so let me get this straight. So if I'm a CIO of a major corporation, for every single Zoom video conference meeting that occurs, I would get a full report as to whether or not my employees were engaged or not. That's exactly right. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So I'm really curious, I bet you have a couple of your customers here with you right now. You have Bill with Project Echo. Let's start with you. That's pretty exciting technology. I bet you can't wait to get some of that analysis. Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, part of, um, you know, I'm, I'm uh, Bill Zarlet. I'm uh, the Senior Technology and Innovation Officer for Project Echo. Um, you know, my, my job is a technologist, a futurist, a computer scientist, an engineer, and most importantly, a recovering engineering professor <laughs> who made a really, really, really smart decision to bring in Zoom uh, to Project Echo in, in, in 2013. Um, you know, before we talk about the future, I just, you know, just a little bit about Echo. You know, this is a, a worldwide movement um, that spans health and the education space. You know, we use multi-point video conferencing to demonopolize knowledge and amplify the capacity to provide best practice care for underserved people all over the world. Um, Echo's founder was Dr. Sanjeev Arora. He's a hepatologist um, who had an eight month waiting period in 2003 to treat uh, patients with hepatitis C, which was a health crisis um, for New Mexico. With Zoom's help, Dr. Aurora's wait time is now two weeks, eight months to two weeks, and he gets to see the sickest of the sick patients like a hepatologist should. So the ECHO movement in New Mexico has really succeeded in building the capacity for health professionals to treat a large percentage of the HCV patients in their, in their local communities and culturally appropriate settings. Now, through Zoom's strong partnership with ECHO, the ECHO movement, we've now expanded to cover almost 100 countries. Um, and we've, I'm sorry, 100 common chronic and complex diseases. We're in 23 countries. Um, and in December of 2016, we had the bipartisan, bicameral ECHO Act signed into law. So. What, you know, for the future, um, Echo's built and Zoom are both built on standards. You know, the required meeting uh, equipment for a Zoom meeting is standards. You can get it on Amazon or eBay, um, and it plays well on iOS and Android devices. So this is significant because it enabled Echo to move from provisioning room systems that took 6, 12, and 18 months to get everything in place end to end to 6, 12, and 18 seconds. Um, and our growth just took off. So Eric's rock solid engineering team and, and Echo are continuing to collaborate because in low bandwidth countries like India, Vietnam, Namibia, I hear comments daily, Zoom just works. So the future is really bright as we look to expand the, um, the use of Zoom into dozens of new countries. Um, we're, we're looking to connect the, the healthcare professionals in these rural areas with health centers. We're gonna work really closely with Zoom on their, to expand the use of their webinar technology. Um, we're going to build on uh, integration with their electronic health records. Um, we're looking at the AR and the VR. And we want to integrate um, really closely with Echo's AI tools um, to provide real-time decision support during Telecho clinics and in many, many other areas. It's so really the a point that he brought out that it's also HIPAA compliant. Yeah, that's right. It's very and, rare. And actually, that's a, a new thing that uh, Zoom just announced is with the encryption that it, has, uh, it is HIPAA compliant for telehealth, which can have a huge impact on just the, the reach of ECHO, those kinds of things. So it, then- It's exactly you, correct. Oh, because you know, our you're, information you're, security officer uh, was at first really skeptical. Are you gonna go in the cloud and do video conferencing? But when they saw the end-to-end -end encryption, they said, we have no problem with Zoom, and they signed it off. So you know, the impact 
of the Echo Zoom partnership is that it's going to help us impact the lives, positively impact the lives of a billion people by the year 2025. Perfect. Amazing. So, uh, Ben McDougal, I'd like to bring you in. You're using video collaboration as a way to bring together creatives literally from all over the place to come together and deliver high impact, in your case, video, audio work for the, the creative industry. So, Ben, why don't you share a little bit about how you're using uh, these kinds of collaboration tools? And I bet AR is going to help you a lot. It absolutely <laughs> will. Uh, well, I'm Ben McDougall, lead artist with Theory Studios, and we are the world's first entirely virtual visual effects and animation studio. Uh, Theory Studios was founded in 2013 by David Andrade and Mark Olson with the goal of hiring the best talent from all over the world working under one virtual roof. And since then, Theory's worked on such hit shows as Silicon Valley, The Good Wife, and Man in the High Castle. Now, being an entirely virtual studio, Zoom has been a game changer that helped Mark and David's vision succeed. We have artists on four continents, and for many of them, working in the VFX industry was just a pipe dream. Now, Zoom allows them to review, share, and critique their work at the video and audio quality required for modern shows and movies. And that's a big thing. Even when the artist is located in a small village in Argentina or a small town in Australia, they're able to work as if in the same room as the supervisor in Los Angeles and a producer in Ontario. And the expansion that Zoom has provided is virtually immeasurable. Theory has gone from two artists to two dozen, all the while being able to compete with established studios with fixed locations. And with AR and VR technology coming down the pipe, Theory will be able to leverage the technologies for even greater integration and expansion. And I'm really looking forward to this. It will be great. Hey, Ben, Bob, Eric, really appreciate you taking the time and uh, joining us uh, here today, uh, here at the New Future Conference. And thank you so much, Phil, for joining me on this segment. Now you can see why this is our favorite uh, tool in our toolbox for work. It's pretty exciting. But now that we've told you a little bit about the future of video conferencing, why don't we show you what it's going to look like in the not-so-distant future? Zoom, call Mary.